Hi right, guys, today I'm going to make a quick video. Uh, I've been trying to help a subscriber diagnose his no start condition, no spark condition on his 93 Silverado. He's got a 454, but the distributor and all is the same. And what he was saying is he had replaced the coil and the, uh, uh, the pickup coil inside the distributor, and he wasn't getting any spark. So here's the issue with these these distributors on this the electronic distributors. You got an external coil sits right here, and it's got some plug wires that goes in. The pink, the pink one right here, focus is power switched, hot all the time when the switch is on, and the white one beside it goes to the tack. If you had a tack. And then it comes out, same colors. So the big wires over here on this side is actual end wires coming in. And these little wires come out and run down to the distributor. I don't know if I can show you, but right back here is where they plug in at. Okay. All right, and then you got another set of wires right here that runs from the PCM, which is the computer inside the uh, cab. And this is a what they call a bypass ignition system. So that when you're cranking, the ignition control module, which sits on the distributor cap in that base there, controls your spark. It tells tells your uh, coil when the spark. The uh, then once it gets to running, the PCM or computer tells the coil when to spark. Uh, it also changes the timing, uh, your timing on your distributor instead of a vacuum advance. It is a uh, electronic advance, which basically because it tells the coil when to spark. Uh, that changes your timing. So when you take this coil, uh, distributor out and put it back in and find top dead center number one, you have to unhook this wire right up here. If you follow this lead out, there's a wire, there's a connection right here. And it looks like a tan and black band wire and you unplug that connection right there and that puts it into ICM spark control not PCM spark control so if you suspect you've got a bad computer which your computer is going to affect your fuel so if you're not getting fuel and you're not getting spark it could possibly be a bad computer but if you suspect it is if you're getting a no spark condition when you're cranking it and you suspect that that uh, module's bad, you can unplug this wire and that will keep your computer from even trying to send signal to it. And you also have to do that to actually do the timing. It will run with that plug unplugged to set initial timing. And then of course you want to cut it off and then plug it back up and then recheck your timing. All right, so, uh, so I hope this clarifies it up for uh, this guy, I can't remember your name, but I know I've been, uh, uh, give you some advice, go to Scanner Danner's uh, channel, he's got a very good ignition, uh, I sent you the link to it, ignition uh, systems video, it shows all the GM, Ford, Chrysler systems. Now he's, in his video, he's talking about a later model that has a, a crank sensor, which these do not. The 96 and newers do have a crank sensor, but these don't. But it's just, uh, it's taking a reference from your distributor, goes to your computer, and then the computer sends a reference back, tells your coil when to spark. And that's how that works. So, hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.